Welcome to Communication with Humans and Bees. Ever wondered how animal language varies among species? How humans like Jonathan, Lisa, Ben, and Wendy communicate differently from bees? What is language, and do bees have their own secret language in which they use to laugh at us humans? Who knows the answers to these questions? We do, and we'll tell you right now. First of all, we need to talk about one thing. What is language? Over time, humans have evolved the innate faculty of language, meaning we have the ability to create language to use as our main method of communication. This is an exclusive human trait. Language allows us to communicate with one another everything that can be or needs to be said. All other animals, including bees, don't have this privilege. So how do we decide if a form of communication is a language or not? Well, we can say that language is defined by four distinct design features, which are duality of patterning, displacement, productivity, and arbitrariness. Any human language is able to fully satisfy these criteria. So first let's talk about duality of patterning. This is the ability to make meaningful units called morphemes out of meaningless parts called phonemes. Next is displacement, which allows us to talk about things that are not in the current environment. For example, we can talk about the past. Yo, I had the craziest night last night. The present. Oh, I don't feel so good. And the future. I'll see the doctor tomorrow. We also have productivity. This is the idea that we can make an infinite amount of new words out of morphemes and that we can use these words to describe new things. For example, a new morpheme could be zebra, which can be described as a horse with black and white stripes. Finally, we have arbitrariness. Let's look at two words, cat and hat. There's nothing about the word cat that looks or sounds like a cat, and there's nothing about at that relates a cat to a hat. This shows that the sounds of the words and their meanings are arbitrary. Just ask the cat in the hat. So how do bees communicate? Do they talk to each other really quietly so we can't hear? Actually, bees do a series of movements with their bodies that we can interpret as dances. One widely studied dance is the wiggle dance, in which a bee wiggles about excitedly in a figure eight pattern. This waggling has directionality. Now let's compare bee communication to the four design features of a language. Each part of the wiggle dance has its own meaning. For example, the angle they dance at represents the angle between the sun, the hive, and the food source. And every second that they perform the dance represents the number of kilometers away that the food is. So bee communication does not utilize duality of patterning. When bees communicate, they can tell other bees about a food source that they saw an hour ago. But they can't talk about one that they saw yesterday, or that they want to go back tomorrow. This is because the Wego dance relies on the angle of the sun, which is always moving. Therefore, bees cannot communicate with displacement. Bees are limited by the small set of movements that they know. Generally, their food sources are the flowers on the ground. This is why bees can only communicate horizontal distances. When a nectar source was placed above the beehive, the bees didn't know how to explain, hey guys, look up. Because bees are limited in what they can communicate, they do not display productivity. When bees perform the waggle dance, the dance as a whole looks exactly like the message that they're trying to convey. The food source is 50 degrees from the sun and is 3 kilometers away. This means that the bee communication is not arbitrary. So, is bee communication considered a language? Sadly, no. Fun fact, yay! Did you know that in different places of the world, bees conduct different types of dances? For example, in Africa, the bees use the round dance. So I guess you can say bees have different dialects. The end. Bees.